and I have not seen this solution posted online anywhere. So I'm going to finally do this and hopefully this will help you guys out. So okay, first of all, your playlists, they work, I mean, sorry, your games work, your app is updated, then this is what we're going to do if you've tried the other solutions online. You're going to go on your PC and you're going to install RetroArch on your PC, the PC version. So just click, I won't put a link in the description because it's fairly obvious, you just Google RetroArch and go to RetroArch.com. You, I just downloaded the Windows 10 version myself, this one right here, installer 64-bit. If you have Windows 10, just do this one. And then, once it's installed, you need to create a ROMs folder on your computer which uh, imitates, which is the exact same as the one on your Vita RetroArch, basically. So you probably already did your ROMs on Vita from a backup on your computer, but if you didn't, just make sure you have the same file of ROMs on your computer. You can just go to Vita Shell and copy and paste it onto your desktop. And then what you can do is you have it like this, your ROMs folder, and then you have all of your folders of your game consoles. And then I can confirm that when you go into your directory with the game consoles, if you just have a list of all the emulator files, it should work perfectly like that. You don't need to have them in .zip format, you don't need to have special file folders or anything. It's just drop them all in the folder that you're going to use as your directory and it should work. I won't create a guide as to how to install RetroArch or the ROMs or anything like that because you can find all of that online easily, especially in the links I will provide. So. You installed RetroArch on your computer, you have a ROMs folder, open up RetroArch on your computer, and now you're going to, first of all, go to Online Updater, download the cores that you're going to use on your Vita, or whatever, just download your cores, update installed cores, update assets, update overlays, and most importantly, update databases. This one is very important. Make sure you click update databases and wait for it to finish. Once it has done so, you are going to uh, scan the directories on your computer. So do it the same way you would on your Vita. Go scan directory and then find your ROMs folder scan a directory, like I'll do Genesis right now. Um, okay, I think I clicked the wrong folder. Uh, let me try that again. Sorry guys. Let me just double check here. should work. Oh, I didn't install the, the cores yet. I just assumed that you would. Okay. Um, Genesis, Genesis, Genesis. Do this one for now okay and then you don't actually need all of the cores on your computer that's not important it's just so you can test that the games work basically so scan the directory okay there we go Now, if we scroll down, you see, it created a playlist with Mega Drive Genesis. Even though these are the exact same ROMs that it wouldn't create a playlist for on the Vita. So, that means that if the same ROMs that won't be created on a playlist on your Vita 
will be created on a playlist on the PC version of RetroArch. That means that your ROMs are good, that RetroArch can read them, but that the database it is comparing them to is bad. Because, yeah, so basically, what we're going to do now is take the good database that works in the PC version of RetroArch and replace the bad database on the Vita version of RetroArch that won't create playlists. So if you've confirmed that the same ROMs on your Vita will turn into playlists on PC but not Vita, like it did for me, then you're going to open up Vita Shell. Sorry for the quality of this video, I wasn't planning on making a YouTube channel, I just thought this was important and helpful. Open up Vita Shell, and then you're going to find the files of the RetroArch that is installed on your PC, the files for the PC version of RetroArch. So for me, that's going to be under RetroArch. Windows 64, and then database. You see that? Right inside of RetroArch is a database folder. There's two folders inside of that database folder. What you're going to do is go into Vita Shell, find your uh, root folder on your Vita Shell, wherever you have like your stuff installed. It's usually the UXO. And you're going to go to data, retro arch. See that? Database folder. Click on that. And now what you're going to do is highlight the two folders inside of the Windows retro arch database folder. Replace. Oh. Okay. Drag them over to the Vita retro arch database and replace these two with these two. Once it's finished doing that, exit out of Vita Shell. Go back to RetroArch. And now, with the better database, try to scan the directories again. And for me, this finally made it work.